Welcome back to Hard West, which I keep wanting to call Dead West for some reason. Um, in the last episode, we defended the professor. Well, uh, we fended off all the evil deputies, killed the sheriff, and uh, mined the crater. So I'm supposed to go back to the laboratory. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to see if there's any other cool places I haven't been, like uh, this ranch here. The ranch appeared abandoned. A strange smell came from the barn. Solomon didn't know whether it, whether it death, madness, or some other abomination. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna search it. The barn contained nearly 50 bodies. They appeared to have committed suicide together by slicing open their wrists. Though both the stench and the scene extreme. To his growing discomfort, the inventor found he was becoming used to these things. Sometimes even... Sometimes he felt he even looked forward to them. Solomon searched the bodies and recovered quite a few valuables. Well, let's see what I got. Ooh, some dopium, snuff, tobacco, and eagle elixir. Interesting. Oh, what is this place? Have I been here? Apparently... So I can no longer go there. Alright, so before I move on to where I'm supposed to go, I'm going to re-equip. Because, or did I already do that? Let's check the cards. No, I have not. Ooh, but I got some new cards. Whoops. Uh, Jack of Hearts, Shadow Kill. Ravage... Ravage an enemy not protected by sunlight plus two defense. That's cool. So, we've got king, king, king. Who with the full house? Three tens and two sixes. <coughs> what do I have here? Ace, ace, queen, jack, jack. So I think I had the jacks on him. The Dodge and the Shadow Slave. I definitely like those two. I'm going to keep that on him. And I believe I had these on him. So my new cards. Oh, nice. I got three queens now. Wow. So I can give him a full house of Ace Queen. That's pretty sweet. Ability Disguise, passive. You are no ignored by enemies in setup stage, plus two movement. That sounds solid. And... Chain Kill. Kill an enemy, get a chance to kill another enemy and another, and more movement. This guy is going to be pretty decked out. And... Plus two defense. Shh. Kill. Yeah, that will set him up. I might, uh, sooner or later, kind of take a look at these and see if there's some other uh, cool ways to set up these characters, not necessarily filling out the hands. Of course, there's also the possibility of doing, like, a straight or a flush. Uh, ace, king, queen, jack. Yeah, I could set up one of them with a flush. I don't know what that would do. It'd be even cooler if I could do a straight flush. Fuck, I think I can. That might be worth looking into, but uh... <coughs> not right now, because I kind of like the setups. So with him, I've got plus 4 movement and 30 luck. Full house, plus 4 movement. So it looks like the full house is always going to be the same. 30 luck, 30 luck for 3 of a kind. I wonder if it's worth uh, playing to see what some of those other hands would do. Let's see what do I have on him? Uh, maybe. Nah, I'll come back and play with that stuff later. You guys don't have to watch me do that. 
Alright, so I'm happy with my uh, setups now. My guys should be pretty badass. Uh, I handled that last fight pretty damn well. I haven't been here in a while, I'll see if there's anything new. <coughs> That's right, I didn't do that before, because I was out of money. So I'm going to trade with them. I should have a gun I no longer want. I didn't really have the heal last fight, so... <coughs> oh, it's a pepper box. I think that's new. Pepper boxes are pretty sweet. But I'm gonna go... What the fuck? I thought I just sold that gun for 60. I swear I just sold something for $60. There's only $29 cash in there. Did I for some reason sell a gun for a dollar? <laughs> I did. Let's see how much more they owe me. That's I'll take something worth ten. Oh, that was pretty stupid of me. Alright. Cash lost fifty. Person's injuries have been healed, sweet. Um the doctor gave his patient a strange mix strange mixture to drink. Then he opened his vein to let the blood let the bad blood out. When he was satisfied, he patched him back up. After an hour, the feeling was healthy again. Solomon arrived at... Alright, so I already read that. So, one of my guys who was hurt should be better. Yep. So I just had the split personality on uh, the doctor here. Should be nice if I could get rid of that. Minus six movement. Jesus, that's terrible. <coughs> Can I fix the giant clock yet? That's the only other thing I don't think I did. Nice, I can. So, Solomon Delir and H.J.M. Hobby joined forces to create an extra extraordinary clock. Their gargantuan construction towered above them, measuring the infantry in the air. While its indicator inevitably moved towards point zero, the time it predicted the world would end. As a token of his thanks, Hobby presented Solomon with a miniature version of his masterpiece. The device was functional and could be used in combat. Interesting. So I got the Doomsday Watch. Doomsday Watch unlocked. Fate of Traitor. Interesting. So I'm going to check out that watch before I move on again. <coughs> Ooh, plus two damage. Does that go to items or clothing? Clothing. Huh. Elixir, snuff. Dose of opium. Also get plus one damage, plus six movement. I like his crazy movement. Maybe I did use healing in that last fight. Bottle of liquor. some more healing for him. Do I want to put that on anybody? Also got to sell some shit to buy some more stuff to heal. 
got a feeling I'm going to get into a fight pretty soon. No, not that. I'll try the opiates on him. Plus five defense. Yeah, that... Plus two damage sounds pretty awesome, but, uh... Oh, uh, that'll give him more range with his rifle. Yeah, I'll try it on him. I'll lose that defense, but I'll be able to pass off shots like that and one-shot everyone. Alright. So, back to the laboratory and let's see what happens. <coughs> and this will be a fight. Uh, I'm going to see if I have any blueprints. I'm going to see if I can get healing stuff with this. And... Uh, get another gun. And I think I've mastered guns. Alright, out of blueprints. Alright, so I'm going to go to the workshop before I do that. Alright, so medical bags will be good. I'm going to need some cash, though. Piercing ammo. Alright, what else did I get? Holy fuck. That thing is ridiculous. Revolving revolver. <laughs> Man, that shotgun revolver. I want that. Alright, what can I sell that I don't need? Oh, I can't really do that on here, can I? That blows. Alright, let's see what I can get for it. Actually, they're about out of cash. Although that drives me nuts, I kind of like that, that you don't have, like, unlimited resources. 235 cash, alright, I'm going to sell some stuff to them. Oh, it's only worth 20. That's 85, I don't want to sell my pepper box, I like that. It's 85... Firm. Yeah, I'll do that. Now I'll see what I can get here. Alright, so I definitely want that shotgun. Which is 51. I want some health kits. Sixty-nine. I've got ninety-four bucks. Eighty-seven. Sounds like a deal. All right. Cancel trade. All right. Now I'm happy. So one more time in my menu here, cause yeah. Although it's got more damage. It doesn't have many shots, and this thing will. Got my rifle. Got that rifle, which will do enough. Yep, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna give him a medical bag. Two of them. Two medical bags. Luck boost, no. Yeah, I'm just gonna go all in healing there. He's got an elixir, which will be good enough. I don't really need that pipe. I have passive healing with him, so I'll switch that for a bottle of liquor. And that should be good. Alright. 
So now I'm ready to uh, research a meteor. Solomon concentrated on how he could use the meteor to cure the madness. He was feeling blazingly intelligent. His relentless emphasis kickstarted an unprecedented fit of successful research. Eureka! Solomon shouted as he put the final bolts on his sanity machine. <laughs> I love his sanity machine. Then he gathered the Pinkertons in the laboratory and explained what he needed to be done in order to activate it. Okay, I got a feeling I might be fighting each other. I don't know what this is, but uh, yeah, combat. <laughs> the leader was putting the final touches on his masterpiece when the madman closed in. Yep. If he could get power to the machine, it would invert the meteor's energy. It might cure them, it might kill them. Either way, it would stop them. Let's use the required number of levers. Alright, so he's gonna have to run around and hit the levers, which are all over the fucking map. And where are these enemies? Alright, so I'm gonna take a brief look around, see if I see anybody any shadows. Of course it's dark, so there's not going to be many shadows. But that's good, because Solomon heals in the dark. So I don't know if they're going to be inside yet. Should I move my guys as a team? Start with Solomon. Solomon restored partial power, but not enough to start the device. I might move my guys in a unit here, because I think it's only him that can hit the switches. Yeah. Holding a guy back to, uh... Secure... Won't be a bad idea. They could come from the front door or the side door. Should have a turn or two before I really get threatened by enemies, though. I'm happy with him here. Set up a table just in case. Come through there, I don't think. Oh, wait, that is a door. Yeah, they come through that door. I'm kind of a sitting duck. There we go. So, oh, I guess I'll wrap this way first with Solomon and come around. Oh, wait, there's some guys. Okay. Good to know. So the next room will be this one. Might as well get right up close there. And get ready to help my main guy in there. Do I use 
use him to defend the front. I know where those guys are. I can always retreat. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Oh, well, at least I'm getting a lot of luck with him. Okay. All right. Well, let's try my new chain kill. Seven, fifty-five, fifty-four, forty-three, thirty-nine, sixty-nine. 55, 54, 43, 39, 69. Oh, no wonder he was Chain kill is fucking cool. He's got eight life. Not gonna hit him. Not gonna hit him. I just run away now. Okay. I like that move. I can move to a place where I can shoot them. Yeah, I can. Yeah, it looks like a good enough shot. Now, someone's got to go with the doctor. And of course my doctor's got shitty ass movement. But he should have a lot of luck right now. Maybe that's my 11 guy. Actually never mind, he keeps losing luck. Oh, 
Alright, cool. So far I am unscathed. I'd like to be able to scavenge those corpses, but there are way too many enemies around. So I've got 12 rounds left. guys where they are. So... I can't do the golden bullet. Tumor Cliff. I already killed him. Why is that only doing two damage to him? Gotta start taking down that, but I'll uh, shoot who I can guarantee to kill. So it's probably a waste of a bullet from that gun. Guy. No, bulletproof vests. Hmm. So I can take some hits with him, but could I put some serious damage into my pal there? see if I have a line of sight to him anyway without going out there. I might regret this. No guts, no glory, right? Really? What's with him not taking any damage? And not really having cover? That's bullshit. I wish this game had a little better uh, camera control. Does that knock on his cover? Whew. I'll take that as a bailout. That's alright. So I've got them on the run. I can just only fifty seven percent he's standing right there. I got movement for days on him. Keep everyone at 
be... Nope. I used up all of my luck. Alright, reloading. Um... Shit, can I... Only 34% again. Do I do that or just heal? Eh, take away his luck. Really? That didn't hit the lever? So I'm wondering if you guys respawn to this. I don't want to stretch myself out too much. This Turner is a dickhead. Yep. That will fuck him up. Jim McLeod froze and fell to the ground, dead. Oops. Definitely want to resume. Alright, so now I'm just going to kind of position myself in the good spots. Does he have the scavenge? Nope. in case more guys come. I didn't mean there. Are you kidding me? Oh well, I can only hit one a turn anyways. He's my scavenger. at the end of combat. Then I don't even care if I can't keep it. Uh, that should be the end of my turn then. So, move him out of the way. Let's check his body. <sighs> so weird that the tiles you have to be in. Is he already done? Alright, end turn. Now I can scavenge it. It's totally not over his body. That's a pretty sweet rifle, though. I don't know what it does. But I wish I could keep it. But since I can't, it'd probably be best to move back into safety. In case we do get some more guys, but I doubt that's going to happen. So the doctor will just run across here. I should move a guy into this room to be safe. Make sure no one's hiding out in there. And turn. Yeah, 
And this should be it. Solomon restored full power. The machine came to life on its own. Suddenly, a blinding flash suffused the battlefield along with a thunderous blast. The power of the meteor, now inverted, invaded every mind in the area. All in the vicinity were cleansed of madness, but in its place, only blanks remained. Some awoke as from a bad dream, others stared emptily, several dropped dead. Over the next few weeks, Pinkertons appeared by the dozen to help rebuild the town. The crisis was over. Delir vowed to protect the machine until it was needed again. Nice. Scenario complete. So here's one place where the, the game could be better. After you finish the scenario, you go back to the main menu and you gotta load back into the campaign, which kind of breaks your immersion. And uh, that's not the coolest thing in the world, so... Man, which way to go next? I really enjoyed this one, so I might just continue with this storyline. Uh, and then I'll come back to this and maybe just finish this storyline with these guys and go all the way through theirs. Rather than jump back and forth. So, um, yeah, that's it for right now. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, because I'm really getting into this thing. And uh, I'll see you next on the next scenario. Thanks for watching. Bye.